We continue now the top of Daf Kufnun Vav Amid Aleph Masech Shabbos. This is Shabbos Daf 156a. The Gemara just quoted an opinion in the Brisa that you're allowed to take parched flour and you're allowed to knead with it on Shabbos. And the Gemara wants to know who's the author. And the Gemara says, Rabbi Yossi Brav Yehuda, it's authored. That opinion is the view of Rabbi Yossi Brav Yehuda. Rashi says, the Rabbi Lo Mahani Le Shinoi. Now, if the, if if it was the opinion of Rabbi. A shinoi wouldn't even help. As we said before, just putting the water into the uh, the substance, you're chayef for kneading. Even by something that's not something which is really a material that needs well. Like we said by the brand. But according to Rabbi Yossi Bar Yehuda, Damar Ad Shiyagavel, who says that only when you do the actual action of kneading are you chayef. Here you will be allowed to do it with a shinoi. We're going to explain that as we go on. The Gemara will say, that's only if you do a shinoi. That's the next line in the Gemara. You're allowed to do this only if you do it with a shinoi. How would you do a shinoi in this case? You do it a little at a time. Now the Brisa continues that all opinions agree that you're allowed to stir the shasis on Shabbos. Now, the shasis Rashi just said before is really just a mixture that is made together with the uh, with the parched flour. You you mix together vinegar and some other ingredients, so you're allowed to stir that on Shabbos. Veshosim zesim hamitzri. You're also allowed to drink zesim hamitzri on Shabbos. That's not a problem. Rashi says shabochshin betarvud the high govlin. You use a tarvud. That's a utensil that's used to stir with, and that's kneading. Veshosim zesim hamitzri de velav refuanami mashka. Why are you allowed to drink the zesim hamitzri? Because even even if you didn't need it for healing purposes, it is considered a normal drink. The Tanan kol amashkin shosa adam lerefua, like the Mishnah says, and anything that's qualified as a drink, you're allowed to uh, you're allowed to drink it e- even for refua purposes because it's something that you would drink even if you didn't need the refua, even if you weren't sick, you would drink it anyway. So the Gemara now asks on this last line here, Vo'amir in Govlin, what are you talking about? You're saying over here, everyone agrees you're allowed to stir the shosis. But we just said before, you're not allowed to knead. So it seems to be a direct contradiction. Gemara says, Lokasha haba ova haba It depends if it's thick or if it's thin. If it's a thin mixture, then everybody agrees you could do it. And then the Gemara says, Vahani mili hud mishani. That's only okay. It's only okay if you do a shinoi. Hey, chi mishani. How do you do a shinoi? Amr Rav Yosef. Rav Yosef says, Bechol nosen es hachometz v'achrekach nosen es hachosis. On a weekday, you put in the vinegar. If, if on a weekday you put in the vinegar first, then you put in the shasis. B'shavis no sin as hashasis. V'yachkach no sin as hachomets. Then just reverse it on Shavis, Put in the uh, shasis first, and then put in the chometz after. Levi Brader Rav Huna Barchia Ashkechei Legavla Devei Nashe the Kagovil Vesafi Leilature. So Levi, the son of Rav Huna Barchia, found that the person who took care of the animals by his father's house was needing the food for the animals, and then he was force feeding the animals. Batash Bey, so he kicked him. Because he said, you're not allowed to, everybody agrees, you're not allowed to, to need. So Asa Avua, so his father came, Ashkechei found him, Amar Lei said, Hachi Amar Avua de Imach Mishmei de Rav. The, the father of your mother says as follows in the name of Rav, Umanu, and the Gemara says, who is that? Rav Yirmiya, Rav Yirmiya Barabba, it's Rav Yirmiya Barabba. He says, Govlin, you are allowed, in fact, to need this together for the animal, the Lomasafin, but you're not allowed to uh, force feed it. However, the Lolakit Belishne, let's say you have an animal that's not, it's very young, it's a baby, it's not accustomed to eating on its own, Mahalkatinle, then you could uh, sort of force feed it. Uh, you can kind of put it to the animal's mouth and, and force it uh, to eat in that situation. And once again, the Gemara says, this whole idea here is only if you are doing it with a shinoi. Again, if you're if you're going to be kneading the morson, it's only allowed through a shinoi. Hechi mishani, and how do you do a shinoi in this case? Amar Rav Yemar Bar Shalmiya Mishmei Da Abaya. Rav Yemar Bar Shalmiya says in the name of, of Abaya. Shasi Ve'erev. Don't mix it like in a circular fashion, but just go kind of north, south, east, west, and that would be allowed. The Gemara says, V'halo Marav Shaber. But if you do it that way, it's not going to mix properly. So the Gemara says, Amar Rav Yehuda. Rav Yehuda says, Minaru Lekli. Just shake the kli, and then on its own, it can mix together, and that will be your solution. Kosova Pinkase de Ziri was written on the on Ziri's ledger, Amris Kodam Rebi. I said before Rebi, and who's his Rebi? Umanu Rebichia. Who is his Rebi? It's Rebichia. Mahu Lagavel. I asked him this question Are we allowed to need in order to feed the animals on Shabbos? Amar Osir. He said that it is a problem. Mahu uh, Lafarik. Rashi says, What's Lafarik? Mahu Lafarik. Losses mitoch klisha lefne behemazu, velosses lefne chaverta. Can I take from food that was placed in front of one animal? And then give it to another animal, Amar Mutter, for that. Rabbi Chia said it's Mutter. Amar of Menashe, Rabbi Menashe says, Chad Kame Chad, Tre Kame Tre. You could put one portion in front of one animal or two portions in front of two animals. Shapir Dummy, that's fine. 
to loss a kame tre usher to put three portions in front of two animals is a problem. Rashi says chada kame chada mils about beinafshi. This is a statement on its own; it's not connected to the previous statement. Chada mida sheregilim loses lefnei behema mutter loses lefanei b'shabes. If you have a certain measurement that you would normally give to this animal, you could give it in, to give it to to that animal on Shabbos. The chain tarti kame tarti ha ochlos b'avazechad. Same thing. If you had two animals that eat from one trough, you put that amount. That's fine. Avol tolasa kame tarti, but to do, to put on Shabbos three portions in front of two animals, holo v'cholo yoyv lo kiai. Have a tircha de Since you don't do that on a weekday, this is a tircha that's not really necessary. You're you're going to a, an extra. You're going through an extra bother that it's not going to be allowed on Shabbos. The kol shekain tarti kamechada. If you can't put three portions in front of two animals, for sure you can't put two portions in front of one animal. And the Gemara now brings a uh, an opinion that disagrees. Rav Yosef Amar kav afilo kabayim. Rav Yosef says you could feed more than usual. You can give a kav, even two kavs. Ula Amar Ula says even more than that. Kor vafilo korayim. You can give a kor. Even two cores, which is a very large amount of food. Kasav apinkase de Levi was written on the ledger of Levi. Amris kadem Revi. I said in front of Revi, Umanu Rabbeinu Hakadosh. Who is it? It's Rabbeinu Hakadosh. Rabbi Yudan Nasi. Al dehav a gavel and shesisa bebavel. That they were needing this shesisa bebavel. Vavet savach Revi. And Revi screamed about it. Umanu Rabbeinu Hakadosh. Al dehav a gavel and shesisa. He screamed that against this practice that they were doing this with the they were needing the shesisa. The last the shamalei. And nobody listened to him. Veles to Shmiyale, nobody listened to him. Veles chela biyade lemeisar, and he had no power to assert me to Rabbi Yosi bar Yehuda because there there is Rabbi Yosi bar Yehuda to rely on, as we've been saying. Rashi here says, me to Rabbi Yosi bar Yehuda bar Plugse. Rabbi Yosi bar Yehuda is the one that argues with Rabbi to have a shari leel af ba'ava. Rashi explains here that when he was permitting it, he was permitting it even by a thick mixture. The al yade shinoi, as long as he did a shinoi v'ha noag in kamoso, and the minhag was this way. So Revi could not uh, could not forbid it. Kasev apin kaseid Revi Yoshua ben Levi. It was written on the ledger of Revi Yoshua ben Levi. The Gemara now switches gears a little. Hayman devechad b'shava yehi gavar velo chadebe. Somebody who's born on a Sunday is going to be a person without one. Rashi says yehi adam sholim b'mida achas. It means he's going to complete be complete in one mida. Yehi, that's what he's going to be. Velo achas bo mida achas, but he won't have from another mida. Well, the common mefarish lavaz. The Gemara is going to explain what this means. It's a difficult line, but he's going to be a gvar velo chadebe. My velo chadebe. What does this mean? He's going to have some mida, but not another mida. Ilema velo chadlati. Well, maybe it means he's not going to have any good midos. Veomar Ravashi. I know bechad b'shav ha'avoy. But Ravashi said he was born on Sunday. He certainly had some good midos. Elo lav chad levishu. Maybe it means he's not going to have one bad mida. Veomar Ravashi. But Ravashi said I know v'dimi bar kakusta havin bechad b'shav. Ravashi said that me. Myself and Dimi Bar Kakuzta were both born on Sunday. Anna Melech, I am a Rosh Hashiva. Who have a Reish Ganvein? He's the head of all the uh, the thieves. So clearly, you could be bad or good if you're born on a Sunday. Ella ikule letivu ikule levisho. So rather, what does it mean? The statement meant you're either going to be totally good or totally bad. The Gemara says, "My time." And what's the reason? The Ivrube or v'choshech, because the light and the darkness was uh, was created on that day. Some people don't have that uh, gear, so that which is in parentheses. Rashi says. Uh, the Sunday is the first day of my Sibrashis, so you're going to be the head. Either you'll be the head of the yeshiva, or you'll be the head of the, uh, or you'll be the head of the, uh, of the ganavim, of the thieves. In either case, you see that on Sundays you could have tzaddikim be born or rishoyim be born. Now, the statement continues here. Uh, what if somebody is born on a Monday? So what's going to happen in in that scenario? Yehei Gvar Ragzan. He's going to be a person who is angry. My time of Shem Defligu Bay Maya because it was on that day that the waters were split. And he continues. Hi man, the Vitlos of Ashava. Somebody is born, let's say, on uh, on a Tuesday. Yehei Gvar Asir Vizanoi. He'll be somebody who's wealthy. And uh, Yehei, he's going to be somebody who's wealthy, and he's going to be somebody who commits adultery. Uh, my time, what's the reason? Because the Ivru Be'asavim, because the grass was created. The idea is the grass grows a lot, like wealth, but it also mixes with other things uh, similar to adultery. Hayman de Be'arbo, Vishava Yehei, somebody who is uh, born on Wednesday, Gvar Chachim Vinoyer. He's going to be a person who is wise and his his mind is going to shine. He's going to have a good memory. My time, what's the reason? Mishum de Islu Be'ma'oros, because it was on that day that the lights in the heavens were put up. That's when the uh, the planets were put up. Uh, the sun and the sun and the moon, and so therefore um, light is compared to Torah. That's what Rashi says. The Torah or so therefore he's going to be learned in Torah. 
Somebody born on Thursday is going to be someone who does chesed. My time, what's the reason? Because the fish and the birds were created on that day. Rashi says, it's no bother to feed them. They're, they're fed through the chesed of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So such a person is going to be gomel chesed. He's going to do kindness. Haiman Devimali Shav, so the ledger continues. Somebody who's born on a Friday, Yehei Gvar Chazron. He's going to be a Chazron. What does that mean? Amr of Nachman Bar Yitzchak, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak says, Chazron be mitzvahs. He's going to be someone who pursues mitzvahs, Rashi says, because on Fridays, people pursue mitzvahs because they're getting ready for Shabbos. Haiman Devishav, so Yehei Beshav, so Yomus. Somebody who's born on Shabbos is going to die on Shabbos. Al Da'achilu, Alo, Yom, Rav, the Shabbos. Why? Because it was due to him that they were Mechalal Shabbos. They violated Shabbos in and delivering this person as a baby, therefore the person will die on Shabbos. Amar Rabbi Bar Rav Shila, Rabbi Bar Rav Shila says, V'kadisha Rav Yisri, is going to be called a holy person, uh, because Shabbos, uh, Rashi says, since it says, V'yekadisheyu, she'i parush v'kadish, such a person is going to be holy, like it says, V'yekadisheyu, it says about Shabbos, V'yekadisheyu, so therefore there is a very good element uh, of being uh, born on Shabbos. Amar Luhu Rabbi Chanina, Rabbi Chanina said to them, Poku Amru Le Levar Le Go tell Bar Liyue, a reference to Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Lo mazel yom gorim el mazel sha gorim. It's, the mazel is not caused by what day a person is born, it's caused by what hour of the day a person is born. Uh, Rashi says, Mazel sha zayin mazel hain. There are seven astrological signs, Hameshamshin, uh, Es Hashos, that serve the various hours. They go by the acronym Chanchal Shatsam. Uh, each one stands for something Chama. So, for example, the Ches stands for Chama. We're going to go through each one. Hainu Chama Mamish, it means the sun, the mazel of the sun. Vuechad min hamazolos, it's one of the mazolos. Vechain Levona, the moon is one. Vashar Haven Kochavim Rashi, the rest are stars. We know them really as planets. So these are various mazolos, and uh, and we're going to go through each one. And again, say what the mazel of that particular Shah causes. Haiman de Vechama, somebody born in the mazel of the sun. Yehei Gvar Zivson, again, someone who's shining like the light. He's going to be knowledgeable in Torah. Uh, he's going to eat and drink from his own property, won't take from others. Uh, the idea is that the uh, Rashi says that the sun never goes, it's never out at night, it's only out during the day, it never goes into someone else's territory, it doesn't steal. And the sun, just like it's bright, all of this person's secrets are going to be revealed, it's going to be very hard for this person to hide anything. In Ganev Lo Mitzlach, if the person tries to steal something, he won't be successful. Haiman de Vekochav Noga, somebody born during the Mazel of Venus, Yehei Gvar Osir Vizanoid, such a person is going to be wealthy, and again, he's going to be somebody uh, who commits adultery. Yehei, that's what he's going to be. My time, what's the reason? Mishum de Isilid Be Nura, because there is a fire over there, Rashi says. The Tali Be Nura, Esh Toloi Be Osamazel, fire was uh, created or hung during that mazel. That's the Yetzer Shal Tashmish Boer Katan, or the idea is the Yetzer Hara of relations. It burns like, it burns like an oven. So therefore this, uh, again, therefore the, the Mazel, the Koch of Noga, this uh, Mazel of Venus, he's going to be wealthy, but he's also going to be Zanoi, he's also going to be someone who commits this adultery. Haiman de Vekochav Yehei Gvar Noyer Vechochem, somebody who's in the Mazel of Kochav, which is the Mazel of Mercury, he's going to be somebody again who is Noyer Vechochem, he's going to be bright, he's going to be wise, Misham de Safar de Chamo, because Mercury is like the scribe of the sun. And the Gemara continues, Haiman de Vilevona Yehei Gvar Savil Marin, Somebody who's born during the uh, the mazel of the moon is going to be someone who bears afflictions. Rashi says it's like the moon, which is constantly shrinking. Banoi v'sasir, sasir banoi, he'll build, it'll get destroyed, he'll destroy and things will get built, he'll constantly be building and destroying. Again, just like the moon, which uh, which gets larger and gets smaller. Achel delo delay, he's going to eat that which is not his. V'shasi delo delay, drink that which is not his. Again, like the moon, which goes into the territory of the sun. Sometimes the moon is out during the day. Barazoi Chasion, his secrets will be hidden. Im Gonav Mitzlach, if he is a thief, he'll be successful. Haiman de Vishabsoy, Hegvar Machshavte Betalin, somebody who's born in the Mazel of Saturn, is somebody whose thoughts are going to be bottle, like the word Shabsoy is like Shabbos, to be, to be bottle, to be nullified, to rest. Viesta Amri called him a Chashvin Aleb Betalin. Some people say everybody who has, who has thoughts against that person, it'll be bottle, their, their ideas will not come to fruition. Haiman de Vitzedek, Yehei Gvar Tzadkon, somebody who is born in the mazel of Tzedek of Jupiter, is going to be a Tzadkon. Amr of Nachon by Yitzchak Vitzidkon by Mitzvah. It means in Mitzvah, Rashi says it refers to giving tzedakah. Haiman de Vimadim, somebody who is born in the in the uh, mazel of Mars, Yehei Gvar Oshid Dema, is going to be somebody who spills blood. Amr of Ashi, Rav Ashi says, he, umno, he, ganvi, tavchi. he might be a bloodletter, he might be a thief, he might be a shochet, he might, might be a moel. Amar Rabbah, Rabbah said, I was born during the Mazel of Madim. 
Amar Abaya Abaya says, Mar Nami Onish Vakatal. The master rabbi also is somebody who punishes and puts people to death. He was somebody who was in charge of the courts. So he also does similar uh, things to this idea. Itmar was taught, or Bichanina Omer Bichanina says, Mazel Machim Mazel Mashir Vyesh Mazel Yisrael. Mazel can cause, can cause someone to be wise. The mazel can cause someone to be wealthy, and there is mazel for the Jewish people. Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says, Ain mazel Yisrael. There is no mazel, it does not affect the Jewish people. The Azar of Yochanan, the time of Yochanan follows his reasoning. Dhamma of Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says, Minayin shein mazel Yisrael. How do we know there's no mazel for Yisrael? Shinemar, like it says, Kwamar Hashem al derech hagoyim al tilmedu meosus hashemayim al techasu. Says to Hashem, says, The ways of the nations don't learn from those, don't follow the signs of the heavens. Kechasu agoyim mehema. Hey, Yisrael, the, the nations of the world, they fear these signs, but they do, but the uh, Klal Yisrael should not. Be'af Rav, Sovereign Rav also holds, Ain Mazel Yisrael, there's no Mazel for Yisrael. The Amar Rav Yudah Marav, because Rav Yudah says in the name of Rav, Minayin Shein Mazel Yisrael, how do we know there's no Mazel for Yisrael? Shein Amar, like it says, Vayotze Oso HaChutza, it says he took him outside. So what does it mean? Amar Avram, it's talking about Avram Avinu, and Avram says, Lefnei HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Ribbonu Shalol, the master of the world, Ben Beisi Yorish Osi, is the person in my household, meaning am I not going to have any, any children? Are my servants going to inherit me? Is my servant going to inherit me? Amar Lo, he said, Lav, no. Ki Masher Yetzeh Mimeach, it's going to be your son is going to inherit you. Amar Lefon of Ribbonu Shalol, Nistakalti Bitzdagninos Shali. So Avram Avinu said, no, I looked in my astrology, Veni Roy Laholid Ben, I'm not able to have, uh, to give birth to a child. Amar Lei said them say mitz dagnina shall chaliv your astrology sheein mazali Yisrael because there is no mazi mazali Yisrael my daitach what were you thinking and we'll continue this in the next video and daf kufnun vav amud base.